Eugene Francis Jean Fama, born February 14, 1939, is an American economist and Nobel laureate in economics, often referred to as father of finance, best known for his empirical work on portfolio theory, asset pricing, and stock market behavior. He is currently Robert R. McCormick, Distinguished Service Professor of Finance at the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. In 2013, he shared the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences jointly with Robert Schiller and Lars Peter Hansen. The research papers in economics project ranked him as the seventh most influential economist of all time based on his academic contributions. Early life. Fama was born in Boston, Massachusetts, the son of Angelina Saratena and Francis Fama. All of his grandparents were immigrants from Italy. Fama is a Malden Catholic High School Athletic Hall of Fame honoree. He earned his undergraduate degree in Roman languages magna cum laude in 1960 from Tufts University, where he was also selected as a school outstanding student athlete. Career His MBA and PhD came from Booth School of Business at the University of Chicago in Economics and Finance. His doctoral supervisors were Nobel Prize winner Merton Muller and Harry Roberts, but Benet Mandelbrot was also an important influence. He has spent all his teaching career at the University of Chicago in the USA. His PhD thesis, which concluded that short-term stock price movements are unpredictable and approximate a random work, was published in January 1965, issue of the Journal of Business entitled The Behavior of Stock Market Prices. That work was subsequently rewritten into a less technical article, Random Works, in stock market prices, which was published in the Financial Analyst Journal in 1965 and Institutional Investor in 1968. His later work with Kenneth French showed that predictability in expected stock returns can be explained by time-varying discount rates, for example, high average returns during the recessions can be explained by a systematic increase in risk aversion which lowers prices and increases average returns. His article the adjustment of stock prices to new information in the International Economic Review 1969 with several co-authors was the first event study that sought to analyze how stock prices respond to an event using price data from the newly available CRSP database. This was the first literally hundreds of such published studies. In, 19, in 2013, he won the Swedish Risk Bank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. Efficient Market Hypothesis Fama is most often taught as the father of the efficient market hypothesis beginning with his PhD thesis. In 1965, he published an analysis of the behavior of stock market prices that showed that they exhibited so-called fat tail distribution properties, implying extreme movements were more common than predicted on assumption of normality. In an article in the May 1970 issue of the Journal of Finance entitled Efficient Capital Markets, a review of theory and empirical work, Fama proposed two concepts that have been used on efficient markets ever since. First, Fama proposed three types of efficiency, first strong form, second semi-strong form, third weak efficiency. There, they are explained in the context of what information sets are factored in price trend. In weak form efficiency, the information set is just historical prices, which can be predicted from historical price trend. Thus, it is impossible to profit from it. Semi-strong form requires that all public information is reflected in prices already, such as companies' announcements or annual earnings figures. Finally, the strong form concept is all information sets, including private information, are incorporated in price trend in states no monopolistic information can entail profits or, in other words, insider trading cannot make a profit in the strong form market efficiency world. Second, Fama demonstrated that the notion of market efficiency could not be rejected without an accompanying rejection of the model of market equilibrium, for example, the price setting mechanism. This concept, known as a joint hypothesis problem, has ever since vexed researchers. Market efficiency denotes how information is factored in price. Pharma 1970 ex ex emphasizes, emphasizes that the hypothesis of market efficiency must be tested in the context of expected returns. 
The joint hypothesis problem states that when a model yields a predicted return significantly different from the actual return, one can never be certain if there exists an imperfection in the model or if the market is inefficient. Researchers can only modify their models by adding different factors to eliminate any anomalies in hopes of fully explaining the return within the model. The anomaly, also known as alpha in the modeling test, thus functions as a signal to the model maker whether it can be perfectly predict returns by the factors in the model. However, as long as there is uh, an alpha in nature, the conclusion of fluid model nor market inefficiency can be drawn according to the joint hypothesis. Palmer 1991 also stressed that market efficiency per se is not testable and can only be tested jointly with some model of equilibrium, for example, an asset pricing model. Pharma French free factor model. In recent years, Pharma has become controversial again for a series of paper co-written by uh, Kenneth French that um, with Kenneth French that cast doubt on the validity of the capital asset pricing model CAPM, which posits that a stock beta alone should explain its average return. This paper describes two factors above and beyond a stock's market beta, which can explain differences in stock returns, market capitalization, and value. They also offer evidence that a variety of patterns in average returns, often labeled as anomalies in past work, can be explained within their Pharma French pre factor model. Bibliography The Theory of Finance, Dryden Press, 1972, Foundations of Finance, Portfolio Decisions and Securities Prices, Basic Books, 1976. For more information and reference, see the web page. Thank you.